Blessings, we welcome you to another edition of Life Steps. Today we'll be discussing salvation. Salvation is probably the first and most important step you'll take in your Christian walk. What is salvation? Well, first of all, let me read to you Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. It says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It says, It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. I want you to understand one thing, that salvation is for anyone and everyone. Number one. Number two, it is a faith act. You know, you basically say, Lord, you know, you say this salvation prayer, Lord, come into my heart. I am a sinner. You are my Savior. I've made mistakes, Lord. But with you now in my life, Father God, I've been redeemed. I've been saved by grace. Not like the scripture says, by works, but by his grace and his mercy. And then you follow that simply by saying, Lord, as of today, I will continue to follow you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And it's that simple. It's a simple prayer that that, that you make with the Lord. You're, you're talking to him just as I'm like, I'm talking to you right now. And you say, Lord, I'm ready to, to, to just follow you. And then what you do next is you want to get connected to a church. Whether it be Lifeline or wherever you're watching this video from, you get connected to not only a Bible-based, but a Spirit-filled church. Why? Those are the things that are going to help disciple you. Those are the things that are going to help make you grow uh, to be the Christian that you need to be. Because I want to tell you right now, and, and for if you've heard this, uh, you know, this statement from people saying, oh, you know what, being a Christian is, is easy and so on. It's not. Being a Christian is one of the hardest things you'll ever do. And so you need a strong church. You need to get rooted. You need to get planted somewhere. Why? So that you can be able to give fruit and bear fruit as you go on in your walk with Christ, right? Because you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna run some issues. Does that mean now that you're saved, you're gonna be perfect? Not at all. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna run into some potholes. You're gonna, you know, you have circumstances that you, you don't know what to do. And this is why you stay connected to church. Church is like school for our, for our spirit. We need to get fed daily, 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 so that what we can continue to grow. We can know what the word says. So when the enemy does attack, which he will, uh, you'll know exactly how to combat uh, those attacks of the enemy. So again. Salvation prayer is very simple. You just simply accept them in your heart, just as I did earlier. You know, I am a sinner. You are my Savior. You, you just proclaim that He is your Savior. And then it becomes, like I said, it's an act of faith. You believe it. And I'm going to tell you this, and I'll end with this. You have to understand one thing, that the moment you make that prayer, and the moment you, you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, uh, He has forgiven you instantly. And it doesn't have to happen in church. You can say the prayer of salvation in your car. You can say it in the restroom. You can say it at work, wherever the case, wherever you feel the need to do so. But number two, understand he's already forgiven you. But number two, you need to forgive yourself. And so, again, that's why it's important to get connected to a church. Why? They're going to teach you how to remove those thoughts and renew your mind and renew your body, mind, and spirit, as Matthew twenty two thirty seven says, so that you can continue to move forward. Because the devil is going to remind you of your past. And it's very important that you understand now that that has been erased, that has been forgiven, and the Lord has given you brand new life, brand new purpose. And so if you're watching this video again and you've even accepted Jesus Christ, we congratulate you on that big step of faith. God bless you and we'll see you next time.